Hi, Dr. Chong. Hi, Lavinia. How are you? Good, good, Dr. Chong. <laughs> okay. It's Friday, but I think everyone's excited to see you again. Yes, thank you. Have, so, here you go. It's all yours. Okay, lovely. Hi, everyone. Um, good to see all of you again. Uh, it was just uh, two days ago that I saw all of you. And uh, it's good to see everybody back here again. Um, I have some updates for you today. And uh, of course, there were some things I couldn't tell you the other day. Uh, kind of ran out of time. So we'll talk about those today. Um, now, the first thing is, um, I'd just like to say a few words in Mandarin to welcome my other guests. Uh, uh, okay, great. So, um, uh, without much further ado, let's start the ball rolling. Let's update everybody. Let's look at the slides. Yeah. Yes. Previous slide? This one. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at this. And it's been about 48 hours since I spoke to you all. And already the number of cases have increased by 429. So you can see now it's 1,910 in Singapore. Um, it continues to go up quite uh, remarkably. Um, one of the problems we're having here is uh, we're having an outbreak in the dormitories where our foreign workers are uh, are working and these foreign workers there are quite a large number of them in Singapore some of these dormitories are quite big they house about five to twenty thousand people um, so yeah so there's a lot of effort going on into helping these um, foreign workers who've kind of come here uh, a long way and helped uh, Singapore to uh, build our trains and airports and our HDB flats um, our imported cases uh, are stable, about 568. The unlinked cases are more now, of course, 375. And that's always a, a, a source of uh, concern to us because we don't know where these, these people are, uh, are getting their infections from. And the people who are infecting them are probably still out there somewhere. So it becomes very, very important for all of us to observe the rules. Um, we still have about 29 in, in ICU and about 800 odd warded, uh, 500 odd are in isolated in private hospitals and other locations. And the number of doctors uh, is still remains uh, at the same. The quarantine numbers are huge, you can see, 17,000, uh, currently about 5,600. About 14,000 have finished their quarantine. Stay home notices still hovering at in the 63,000 and and uh, st still serving uh, stay home notices are about 15,000. And our testing has gone up. I, I just got all this uh, latest data. Our testing gone, has gone up from about 6,500 per million to 8,300 per million. And uh, so we are now uh, have tested something like 73,000 people. Um, of course, we're still doing about 3,000 uh, uh, tests daily. Um, so I'll just now like to look at the world, um, the world uh, situation, and you can see the numbers have just gone up in 48 hours, staggering. 1.6 million. Look at the US; it's now 470,000. Spain, Italy, France, Germany, and uh, uh, United Kingdom have all jumped in just the last uh, 48 hours. And the number of deaths, I think, reported just in the last 24 hours has like gone up as well. U.S. is 1,800 a day. And Spain, about 900. Italy and France, about six to 700. Uh, Germany remains quite an outlier with just about 200 to 250 uh, deaths reported. U.K. has gone up to about 900. So you can see that the uh, situation is really continues to explode um, um, in the US and in, in Europe. Now, what's, um, what have I learned in the last uh, 48 hours, which I can tell you, is that actually we've learned some, some interesting facts. Like one of the interesting facts I learned is that 
um, the uh, virus, the viral load in patients who are symptomatic is very high on the first and second day. The first few days, in fact, it's very high. And then it starts to drop down and, and it goes away by day eight. So this is, this explains why, um, you know, this, this uh, epidemic is, this pandemic is just spreading because the viral load is very, very high when patients are first initially uh, symptomatic. And you know, yesterday I told you all about pre-symptomatic spread. That means the patient hasn't had symptoms yet, but is already spreading to other people. And you recall, I told you something about the incubation period being very short, four days, and the serial interval, that's where one person infects another is about on the average four days. So these are very short periods and coupled with the fact that um, they, the uh, viral load is very high in the first few days of symptoms. This really, really explains uh, why we're having such a hard time uh, keeping this under control. Therefore, the, the lockdown has, bec has become very important. Masking now has become very important because the person you're speaking to who have no symptoms may actually have the virus and be spreading it to you and you don't even know about it. So that's what I have learned in the last actually 48 hours. Uh, things are moving very, very fast in a pandemic. So I'll hold here for a little while and then just um, have a word with my Mandarin speaking uh, patients. Okay, previous slide, thank you. Uh, 所以现在你看我们有一千九百个病人在感染在新加坡 of course, we will find out what they are doing. But this is time. We Chenfu 七万多个病人了 大概从一点一点一百四十一百四十百万，现在是呃一万一万呃大概是一百六十万，所以已经增加了那么多病人了，大概二十万个病人，美国增加了很多，那么死亡每天好像昨天是一千八百个，呃，那么西班牙是大概
，所以慢慢慢慢慢减少到第八天就就多数就消掉了，不会感染到别人。可是前那两三天是特别高，它的呃呃藏在身体里面的那个呃病毒的分量，所以怪不得这个感染弄到那么激烈啊、呃，全影影响到整个全球。呃，多一点就是一半个病人，我也学到一个新的，就是一半个病人是去嗅觉，就是我们本地，所以如果是去嗅觉的话，一定要小心，一定直接去看医生啊，这是很重要的一点。OK， 好，我这样啊、呃，我 OK， now I'll speak back in English again. One more thing about the updates that I forgot to tell you. All. Which I've just told my Mandarin-speaking patients is that we found out that close to half of all Singaporean patients or patients diagnosed in Singapore have actually lost their sense of smell. Now this is amazing. So this is something very, very, very important for all of you to to remember. If you have a problem with your sense of smell, please go see a doctor immediately. All right, because this is seems to be quite a common.、Um, Um, kind of、uh, presentation. Now, why is it? Because we know that inside the nose, there's actually、um, cells that look like the lining of the lung. Yeah, it's right up there, and it's mixed. To, it's near the place where you also have cells that smell all the all the nice smells and all the bad odors. So this lung lining in the in the nose um, um, has a certain receptor where the virus attacks the lung with. And it and this little receptor in the lung cells is found also inside the nose. So that's the thinking why patients have actually half of the patients in Singapore have actually lost a sense of smell. So this has become a very very important、uh, clinical、um, symptom that you must watch out for. Okay, so、um, I think uh, we have uh, we don't need the slides anymore. So.、Uh, I'd like to go on and talk about、um, some other、uh, things, and that is, you recall yesterday when I、um, spoke to you about how the psychological、um, aspect of it was like grief. Do, do you remember this?、Uh, and I I quoted a person called Kessler and Kubler Ross. They were the ones who told us all about grief and how it was like.、Uh, Denial, anger,、uh, bargaining, sadness,、um, finally going into acceptance, and then of course the last bit is finding the meaning. So、uh, what's happened is、um, I like to talk more today about the psychological aspects about、uh, being at home, and then later on I'll talk about diet and exercise as well. Actually, they're all kind of pretty、um, linked to each other.、Um, As as you as、um, so, coming back to、um, staying at home, you know all of us are staying at home, with the exception of those essential services like us,、uh, doctors and nurses, and some other essential services. Most of us are, are are staying at home, and a lot of us are staying home with children as well. So I think we first talk about adults staying at home, and then we talk about families with children staying at home, uh, and. Uh,、um, Um, these are some of the things that um, um, we have kind of、um, looked around and asked some of our, for example, our psychiatrist colleagues, our psychologist colleagues, and asked them what they thought、uh, would be useful advice. So I've kind of distilled it a little bit for you. So one of the important things is to build a routine. You can write it down if you want to, but you have to build a routine. So wake up in the morning. Make sure you wake up at the same time. Sleep at the same time. You know, sleep hygiene is very important. I'll talk a little bit about sleep hygiene later on. So, shower, dress comfortably. You don't have to dress in your work clothes, but you do have to dress a little bit comfortably. And then、um, you can log in to your work at a fixed time, and for example, have an early morning meeting with your colleagues online.、Um, and、uh, it's very important to、um, keep a routine. So. Some people have actually uh, uh, made a place where they actually, you know, sort of like a work desk or something like that, and and corner off a little space where they can call it a workplace.、Um, other things that we have to look out for would be, of course, to、uh, try to get yourself 
if you have a lot of time, try to get yourself uh, up to date uh, with your uh, with your work knowledge. Read a serious book, read a classic, or some technical text. For me, I'll probably go back to one of my old medical textbooks. <laughs> and uh, there are lots lots of online uh, material with regards to your uh, work, technical knowledge, and so on. Um, social contact do a little. little do be a bit careful with social media. There's a lot of negative news and fake news on social media. So always try to uh, head for the experts, meaning, you know, for example, for COVID, you look at websites like NIH, National Institutes of Health in, in, in America, NHS in UK, for example, um, our local websites, of course, Ministry of Health uh, and um, uh, reliable news um, agencies. Um, I always like to tune into New York Times or Washington Post and, and even Bloomberg. So these are very, very important that you make sure that you see the right news. Um, a lot of negative news, a lot of uh, doomsday scenarios, doomsday sayers. So these will all affect you psychologically. So try to be a little bit more positive. Uh, social contact is very important, of course. So you're connecting with your colleagues at work. But do call up your family members or a close friend and talk to them on Skype. Um, one of the things about going to work, everybody doesn't realize is that we actually need the social interaction, be it maybe even with a, a cab driver or a uh, person working in a store or the coffee or the person that sells you coffee, you, you know, so that even that, that little bit of um, social interaction is actually quite, quite, quite important. Um, uh, there's always a lot of space for religion, meditation, um, prayer, etc. Um, you also have to watch your anxiety level. So anxiety is one of those things that um, is a bit tricky. Now, I have a very f nice analogy. I always tell my patients about anxiety, and that is, you know, the mind's like a lake. So things bubble up from the bottom of the lake. For example, a Coke can, a dead rat. Um, gas from the mud at the bottom of the lake. But very often, sometimes, when the patient's very anxious, you get a dead floating corpse coming up to the mine lake. And then when you look at a corpse, you feel so, so, so bad. And this bad feeling makes you want to go and do something. So for some people, they'll start scolding people or scolding the children or scolding their spouse. And then for others, it'll be like, going to clean the whole house. So they'll go cleaning the whole house and so on. And for and those people who are obsessive compulsive OCD patients, you know, they can end up washing their hair, washing their hands for two hours. So, so you, you kind of understand. So the whole idea about this anxiety and this bad feeling and this wanting to do something to get rid of that bad feeling is to actually not do something. So when the feeling comes, you kind of like sit down there and take a deep breath and say to yourself, it's like a mantra, oh, this feeling will pass, this feeling will pass, this feeling will pass. And hey, after five minutes, you find, hey, the feeling's gone. So, so, so it's very important you don't act on it because if you act on it, then you get a very nasty, vicious circle and more dead bodies will float up onto your mind leg and make you feel even worse. So this is why I, I tell a lot of my patients about an, an anxiety. So that's something very important to 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 look at and to remember. Um, okay, uh, other things are very interesting. For example, there's um, some, some, of, some people have talked about uh, using the senses. For example, um, think about smell, touch, and so on. So for example, security blanket, you know, like a, 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 a blanket to hold on to. So, so for example, that, that helps. Uh, repetitive movements, for example, um, some people knit. And the repetitive movement actually calms them down. Uh, there's also some data to show uh, left-right movement. So, for example, when you're running, when you're running and you're moving your hands, uh, or you're hopping, jumping up and down, or you're skipping a rope, there's actually repetitive movement. Some of these repetitive, repetitive movements actually are very helpful to calm a patient down. So, like I said, some of the stuff I'm talking about is a little bit all over the place. There's a bit of diet, there's a bit of exercise, but... Uh, you you get the idea. Um, other than cleaning a house, which is a natural reaction when some of us are under stress, we start cleaning the house, throwing things out. And then, uh, thank you, Marie Kondo. Um, there's also, sometimes you can think about doing a household project. For example, you know, it's time to 
go do that thing you've you've put off for so long. So it, maybe it's time to drag out that 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 old drawer and then clean up everything and then the, you know do some handiwork etc. Creativity, art, music, language, all these are of course very very important. Playing an instrument and so on. And finally, at home, you're at home with everybody else. Everybody's cooped up. Everybody's a bit anxious. Everybody's in grief, as I told you yesterday. Uh, there's going to be explosions, explosions of emotions, and you know everybody's going to be irate with each other. So it's very, very important that you put effort in to try to prevent this from happening. I mean, this is really what stopping cabin fever is all about. So, okay, I'll stop a little while here and have a word with my Mandarin uh, 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 speaking patients. Uh, 大家好, uh, 记住昨天我们跟你讲这个, uh, 我们有一点悲痛, 悲痛就是引起到我们有拒绝, 我们有, uh, 不能够接受情况, uh, 悲伤, uh, 讨价还价, 那么后来就接受而且有含义你记住我昨天我一讲这些这几点所以很重要就是在家里面呢我们全部堆在一起我们要有一个大概有一个计划每天醒起来同一个时间睡同一个时间醒起来也是一样的时间不要睡得太晚
打扫了。有时候我好像做一些家务，家务好像你很多年没有做那些，没有去想到做那些东西，好像去打扫啊，一个厨啊，什么什么，去去找个时间来啊。而且呃，有些人就喜欢煮饭啊，煮东西啊，或者去呃呃弄个蛋糕给大家吃啊，等等啊。而且音音乐也是很重要，音乐啊，啊、呃，做一点啊、呃、画画啊，也是蛮蛮不错的。很多人，呃，他们紧张的时候，我们有我们可以介绍他们做一些好像呃一些呃左右的行动，就好像跑步、跳绳这些，我这些左右的行动啊，坦白说会会给你冷静下来啊，呃。所以在家里大家堆积在一起，那么大家都有悲痛，大家都有压力，大家都想要脾气暴躁。可是很重要就是要冷静下来啊，因为大家在一起，可能我们在一起几个星期啊，如果情况不好的话，可能六到八个星期。所以大家冷静下来，好、啊，不要不要呃不要脾气暴躁。OK， so 啊、uh,。That was、uh, the little bit I spoke to my、uh, Mandarin-speaking、uh, patients.、Um, so, I think, furthermore, some of the other things is to remind yourself: take one day at a time, break up your day into chunks. You know, like the next couple of hours, what you're going to do.、Uh, after that, you're going to have lunch. Then you, you know, what you're going to do after that. So, break it up into chunks. Take take hours at a time, or take take it, take it a chunk at a time.、Um, We know all this is going to be temporary. It won't be forever. We have to find meaning to recall、uh, what we said yesterday with、uh, David Kessler, and finding meaning at the end of it all、uh, after acceptance. So we have to find some meaning and the lessons、uh, that we can learn from it. For example, what can we change in ourselves, homes, our community, our nation, even the world. So I, I think you and I know that there are going to be a lot of changes after this crisis. So that is something maybe. We all want to look forward to. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about families with children because with children is not easy. And now, there's a problem with healthcare. Sorry, there's a problem with caregivers.、Um, for example,、um, we've just, just the government has just told everybody, please don't don't drop off your kids with、uh, grandparents daily. If you want to drop off your kids, make sure they are there permanently with your with your 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 with their grandparents. You know. Don't don't move back and forth because we are very worried that、uh, the virus might spread, and you know why the virus might spread because the viral load is so high, the incubation period is short, and the viral load is very high in the beginning, especially when they first start having symptoms, and there's pre-symptomatic spread, and the zero interval is very short. So all these things make our lockdown, masking, washing of hands become very very important. Okay. So please, everybody, please, please, please listen to uh, uh, the instructions. Now, for young children,、um, I think they their routines are being disrupted. So they are feeling very insecure, very frightened.、Uh, but at the same time, hey, they have their parents at home all day. For very young children, that's nice. Teenagers, I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so,、uh, for but for young children, yes, it's nice to have mom there from morning to night or dad there from morning to night. It's quite nice actually. So maybe you can、uh, limit social media. Be careful about all these nasty stories, bad news, fake news going around. Try to shelter them a little bit from all these bad news. You know,、um, like you know, sometimes you switch on the TV and there's just bad news day and night, and and it can affect the children because they see you reacting to the bad news and they'll they'll. Pretty much figure out what's going on.、Um, connect the kids with their friends. You can ask them to Skype their friends, Skype their grandparents, for example. You know, or communicate、uh, by by video, FaceTime, whatever.、Um, board games. You saw the long queues at、uh, Toys R Us. <laughs> Everybody has the same idea、uh, about a 10-hour game of、uh, a 10-hour game of Monopoly <laughs> or Risk or Cluedo or something.、Um, I think video games are okay, but I kind of prefer that you do video games with your kids, 
like sometimes I see my 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 son with his uh, teenage, you know, with his uh, not teenage. He's now twenty one. He's no, not a teenage anymore. But with his friends, and they and they and they play games together, and they have a huge. Uh, you can hear them laughing away. So that's quite fun. Um, jigsaw puzzles um, um, are always a challenge. Uh, for school now, you also saw the long queues at Popular, right? And that's because everybody's lining up to get all these assessment books for the kids, right? Throw the assessment books at them and then keep them occupied for two, three hours. Well, there's a lot of structured learning. There's a lot of e-learning. There's audio books available online, all right? And um, for the psychological being of children, sometimes they need a cozy place where they can retreat into. So you can have a little nest for them, for example, a little place where they have blankets, nice fluffy pillows and so on. Um, family meals, very important. So um, a lot of uh, spouses have now come domestic gods or goddesses. I, we, we, even men can cook, right? <laughs> so a lot of family meals now. And later on, I'll talk a little bit about food and diet. And household chores can become games. For example, if you have a pet, everybody bathe a pet together. You know, that's quite fun, right? So... Um, um, Get everybody outdoors. Okay, everybody go outdoors. Connect with nature. Thirty minutes a day, forty minutes a day. Get everybody outdoors. Um, you know, the just you and the kids and the spouse. Um, get everybody outside. I, I think it's very very important because you can't be at home twenty four seven. Um, build an obstacle course at home. That's quite interesting. I saw that on uh, one of the videos. So some parent built an obstacle course in the house, and everybody had a laugh. So these are some of the things that uh, we can do with uh, families with young children. I mean, these are just some of the ideas that I got uh, from talking to my um, psychologist friends, my psychiatrist friends, and so on, and some of the resources they, they sent me. Uh, now I'll just speak a few words in Mandarin. And so, uh, uh uh Tamen 放测验给孩子两三个小时 十多岁的我不太清楚，可是那些很年轻的、很喜欢父母亲在一起。OK，有时候父母亲不大喜欢。呃，所以他们要呃大家一起吃饭啊。现在很多很多丈夫啊，很多呃太太也是开始煮饭
and watch out for the carbs. The carbs can be quite, 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 uh, quite a bit. You know, there's, I always tell my patients that bad carbs and good carbs. So the bad carbs, and everybody's going to score me for this, will be white rice, white bread, potato, yellow noodles. So the good carbs, you have good stuff like uh, pasta, udon, soba, glass noodles, pretty good, soba, pretty good. Uh, then you have um, things like oats. Not all of us like oats, but oats for breakfast is pretty healthy. Uh, you have quinoa and you have chia seeds and uh, there's, there's a lot of other good carbs to eat. Uh, brown rice is not that bad, but it's still rice. Wholemeal bread is not that bad, but it's still bread. So don't eat so much of uh, brown rice and wholemeal bread, but it's still healthier than white rice and white bread. Uh, so these are the things. So um, a lot of people I see line up at the hawker center. So try to not have the fried noodles or the chicken rice, nasi brani and nasi lemak. The three, the three major rice meals of Singapore are quite deadly in the calories and the oil. So try to cut back on those, right? Um, always, uh, always avoid foods with too much gravy. Gravy is also pretty bad. Huh? It's, it's uh, uh, very, very fattening. So gravy is nice, but very, very, very fattening. Um, drinks, try to not have, if you're drinking tea and coffee, don't try to have it with condensed milk. Use evaporated milk or without sugar or less sugar. Um, fruit juice in a carton, stay away. Those are super duper high in calories. Um, sodas, you know, diet is fine, but not, not the normal sodas. And uh, be careful with your big lattes and your frappuccinos. Those are quite high in calories. So there's a lot of stuff to, to, to eat, a lot, lot, of, lot of stuff to order back in. Uh, please choose wisely. Uh, best, of course, to cook at home. So now mom and dads have now become domestic goddesses or domestic gods and, uh, you know, B buying food from the market and then try to cook some meals for everybody, always a good idea. Always, always a good idea because you'll always watch it on the salt. You always watch it on the oils. You won't be so liberal with all these things. Um, so diet is very, very important. Um, exercise. Now, exercise, there's a lot of videos on, on YouTube, you know, or whatever, uh, high intensity video, uh, fitness, um, kind of like aerobics or dancing or Pilates or yoga. So all these are very important. Uh, stretching, very, very important. I always tell my patients, yoga, Pilates, uh, dancing for stretching, very, very good. Um, and core, core muscles. Uh, the other thing is, um, um, coming back to exercise, yeah, just be careful of some of these high intensity fitness. I, I found that quite a number of my patients got injured. And for the yoga, don't try to be too uh, fast with the fancy positions like a headstand, okay? Uh, I've seen some of my patients get injured very badly because they try to do everything too fast. So, so these are some of the tips on exercise. And please get out there because there are, there are park connectors, there's gardens, you know, um, there's parks all within your vicinity. So please, please, please get out there. And it's important to get out into nature. And you know, once you're out there and there are not many people, Actually, you don't need to wear a mask, right? As you're with your family members, it's okay. You all don't need to wear a mask, all right? Um, so this is one of the times when you're out in the open and uh, there's really, really no, no need to wear a mask. You're not going to come into contact with people. And uh, if you do come in, just move away, all right? So it's a big garden. There's a lot of space for everyone. Um, now, uh, I'll just speak a few uh, uh, words in Mandarin. So, uh, uh, uh,那些饭,okay, uh, uh, spaghetti mian, Italian mian, spaghetti mian. Nama hayo, uh, Ruba mian, soba, udon, tsushi, my pit. Uh, so tsushi, pichao ching kang. Uh, tell me, gun, uh, my mian bao, yes, super chalk. Kasu, haisa me, haisa mian bao, so we build cinema door. Uh, nama, uh, nasi, tsu, the tong si, hen yuni, tsu, 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 hen yuni, so we, tsui hao, biao, tai yuni, tai tsu, tai do tsu, the tong si. 
，那么可乐也不最好不要喝。你要喝那些呃少糖的可乐或者没有糖的可乐可以。啊、呃，其他的就是啊、呃、包装的水果汁最好不要喝啊、呃，那些是蛮高卡路里。嗯、呃，如果要喝茶跟咖啡，不要喝那个炼奶的，喝那个我们叫做我们本地叫做 Gobi C d a C， 啊，那个奶比较没有没有糖分，没有那么高的卡路里，就是这几样东西基本上。最好在家里煮，煮的你煮的时候，大多数不会盐不会放那么多，油也不会放那么多，对吗？啊，也是买一些一些蛋白质，啊 ，protein 啊这些蛋白质啊比较好，鱼啊鸡，红肉、嗯、胆固醇比较高啊，所以那些有胆固醇有心脏病的人小心，糖尿病的就是白饭白面包、马铃薯熟面啊，这些是、呃、糖分比较多。啊，那么运动很重要，上网上可以看到很多东西啊、呃，很多种运动啊、呃，瑜伽也可以，皮拉提斯也可以，也是跳舞也可以，有很多东西可以运动。最重要出去外面啊，在那些公园，很我们新加坡很到处都有公园，你去跑跑一下，好、啊，散散步，跑跑一下。而且在公园的时候，如果没有什么多人的话，不用戴口罩啊，呼吸一一些新鲜的空气也蛮错不错的啊。Okay, now I've come to the、um, end of my talk, and、uh, I always like to leave some time for the Q and A.、Um, so、um, I'll I'll、uh, turn over to、uh, Lavinia, and、uh, um, she'll organize some Q and A for me. Yes, Doctor Chong, I've、you. got a lot of questions.、Um, I think a lot of patients have asked the same questions. A lot of people, this cloth mask that was distributed by the government, is it actually safe? Okay.、Um, you know, I've spoken to you about how、um, how infectious this virus is. So I think a, a, a cloth mask is still better than no mask at all. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we have a lot of pre-symptomatic spread, and、uh, you can be talking to somebody, and、uh, he doesn't know he has a disease. You you don't know he has a disease, and he could be spreading it to you. So Wearing a, even a cloth mask will be helpful. Now,、um, remember in the beginning the emphasis was on washing hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your hair. All right, social distancing. So all these are still very important. Wearing mask is just one of the three things. All right. So now we've asked everybody to wear mask, but don't forget the social distancing and don't forget the hand washing because those are so important. So in a way, the mask came. Of course, not at a good time, but at a later time, after we've learned a lot about hand hygiene, and after we've learned a lot about social distancing, all right. So I see it kind of, I I see the silver lining. It's a natural progression, all right. So I rather you wear the cloth mask than no mask at all. Of course, ideally a surgical mask will be better. In fact,、um, we found that actually surgical masks, even in hospitals, have protected quite a lot of healthcare workers from COVID. Uh, you don't need the N95 sometimes. Yeah, thanks. Okay, then I think you should demonstrate to us how to wear a surgical mask correctly. Okay, there's a slight problem because my earpiece is in the way, but I will just try my best. And if you hear a lot of noise, just bear with me. So most important is your hands are clean. So your hands are clean, huh? All right. I'll speak a few words in Mandarin so I can do it all at one go. Ah,、uh, so 要干净 okay. 那么 Now at the top here, there's a metal strip. You know, right? And there's a metal strip here. So this is outer. This is the inner. The mask has a outer firm layer, the filter layer in the middle, and the comfort layer at the back. Right? So that's for comfort. This is like a shield, and there's a filter in between. So it's three ply. Uh, 口罩是有三层，外面就是外表 ，OK， 保呃就是比较硬的，比较保护啊。呃，里面就是。这个里面就是舒服的，给你舒服的。中央就是把那些病毒啊、细菌全部啊、呃、封住，不要给他们进入进入你的鼻子跟口。OK， now what you do is， 啊、uh, ，the metal piece 上面有一个铁的 ，OK， 一个铁的，你你你摸一下，你感觉到 ，put it over your nose and press it， 放在你的鼻子上面，压那个铁的。封住 ，right？ 
Then before you put it on, you pull the mask down. 拉下那个口罩 Okay. So you pull it down and you make sure you cover up. Then you wear it on your earlobe. Now I can't wear it on the other side, but you get the idea. Then to get a very good seal, 你要封住很好的话 press with both your hands. That's why you need to wash your hands before you put on the mask. 你还没有放这个口罩之前，你要洗手 Okay, 手要干净 Press it, and then you get a very good seal. I I can't do this here, but you get the idea. All right, then you get a good seal. And when a good seal, when you talk, the mask will be moving forward and backward. Okay. 如果你封的很好的话，你讲话的时候，那个口罩就会有动，啊，动向往前面动。Okay. So that's actually how uh you should wear a surgical mask. All right. Now I wouldn't I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do N95 because that's that's not. Sure, really sure. So N95 is not so important for laymen on the street, right? Just a surgical mask will yes. suffice. N95 is、uh, we usually use it for healthcare workers and、uh, certain situations. So really, surgical mask is really,、uh, you know,、uh, even a face mask is better than 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 no mask. Okay, that's the message. Okay, next question, Dr. Chong. Going out to the parks, do the virus stay in the air? Are we safe going to the parks? <laughs> Aerosolization. So everybody, you see, this is this is the problem that we have with fake news and a lot of conspiracy and speculation, right? It's so much speculation, conspiracy, and all this fake news going around. The truth is, I keep telling everyone, one person spreads to two, two and a half. If it was aerosol and in the in the air, it would be one person spread to fifteen. So right now, from all the data coming out from everywhere, it is still one person spread to two and a half. So it's definitely droplet. But why it's so infectious? Because it's pre-symptomatic spread. That means before you have symptoms, it's it's spreading already. All right, and droplet, and the first few days when they start to have symptoms. There's a lot of very high viral load, so now you understand why this thing is spreading. It's not the aerosol; it's the high viral load and the pre-symptomatic spread. So that's why everyone, it's very important to do the three things that I always emphasize: washing hands, social distancing, and wearing a mask. All right. Now I'll just speak a few words in Mandarin. 大家一直问我。究竟如果在公园里面走来走去，会不会感染到病毒？我还是跟大家讲，如果是呃这些这些，就是讲我们课我们课或者我们唱歌，所以你你看很多那些卡拉 OK 感染到，呃唱歌感染感染到啊，或者在喊在叫感感染到，所以最重要是你这个病毒一个人感染到两。两个人或者两个半人，如果是在空气里面的话，就是感染一个人感染到十五个人。我们到了目前呢，还是二点五，就是一个人感染两两个半人。好，所以不用着急，不用担心。如果你在公园里面没有什么人的话，坦白说，你跟你家庭的人三四个人在一起，你去运动是 OK 的啊、哦。所以。大家不用着，不用担心。你看，我们没有封住那些公园嘛？哦，反正啊，我们的领导是说鼓励你去公园散步、运动，半个小时，最少半个小时，四十分钟这样，每天哈、哦，比较对你的精神方面也也有很大的帮助。Okay, now some next question. All the stuff that we are buying from the supermarkets, do we need to disinfect them when we bring them home? Actually, okay. Droplet. Honestly, I told everyone yesterday that when the droplet is the phlegm around it, so there's a phlegm around it, the droplets around it, so it settles on the surface, and it's it's about thirty minutes to sixty minutes, and the thing dries up. The phlegm dries up, and the virus dies. So really, you know. <laughs> The chance of bringing home something with droplets all over it is very, 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 very unlikely. All right. So,、um, most important is anything you touch. 
whether is it your, your, the food you brought back and all that, just don't touch your face after that, huh? unless you wash your hands, right? Anything you touch, whether it's a lift button, whether it's your groceries, you just make sure you wash your hands. And it can be just soap and water. Soap and water is good enough. You see, Ping, you see, Ren Wen, woman, ah, if we, uh, pass up, buy the those things, come back, will there be virus in the bottom? I'm saying, virus is when the virus is infected. When the virus is infected, it is the virus that covers the skin. In the surface, it is about 30 to 60 seconds. It is infected. The virus is infected. The virus is infected. The virus is infected. The virus is infected. 所以，如果动到东西的话，最重要不要动你的脸，不要动你的头发，好、啊，洗手，肥皂就够了，好、啊，不用酒酒精，好、啊，肥皂跟白开水就够了。我们的水龙头的，我们的水龙头的水，蛮蛮不错的，蛮杀菌的啊。OK， thanks。Yeah， very simple instruction， Lo Chang。Thank you。Um， when does an asymptomatic person stop spreading the virus after fourteen days？ Wow, this is a very tough question. Um, okay, there's pre-symptomatic and there's asymptomatic. So pre-symptomatic means that the patient is going to get symptoms soon, one day, you know, soon, the next few days or four days. Let's say he has a virus in his body within four days. Four days, by the way, is an average. Some of them are a bit longer. But we'll say within four days, he'll start to have symptoms. He'll start to have fever and cough and so on. Now, asymptomatic patients are different. Asymptomatic patients have the virus, but no symptom at all. So there is such a group of patients. They found, I think, eight, eight hundred or nine hundred of these patients in Wuhan. These are asymptomatic patients. They happen to be swabbed, so we found COVID, but they have no symptoms at all, wow. and they never turn sick. So this is a very unusual group of patients. Very, very unusual group of patients. So I. I think it, I think it's very rare and it's very unusual group of patients and very small. So I think we don't worry too much about them at the moment. All right. We we I I think it's maybe beyond the scope of this this uh, talk. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Lao Chong. Uh, just I, walking I, alone in the park is it a good exercise if you can't go to your gym and you can't do your routine treadmills oh. etc. All the gyms, all the gyms are closed in Singapore. <laughs> so please go and do your brisk walk. Brisk walk means you just walk fast enough. Your heartbeat is about a hundred per minute. That's exercise. Now housework and shopping doesn't count. Okay, you can't go shopping anyway. <laughs> all right, but just a brisk walk, half an hour. As long as your heartbeat is above a hundred per minute, that is exercise. If you can't do that, well, it's quite difficult. Also, the other way is, of course, you walk ten thousand steps. But it's quite hard to walk ten thousand steps now. In the outside, right? It's quite hard. So I would just suggest that you walk half an hour, brisk walk in the park, park connector, half an hour, three times a week. Um, I just speak in a few words in Mandarin, Lavinia. Yes, I'll try. Ah, 运动方面，现在我们又不可以去健身，那个体育馆全部封了，所以啊，去公园散散步，啊，走快一点，心脏跳了一百以上，就是属于运动。啊、uh, ，或者可以走十万步，可是十万步还是要在外面走，所以最好你去公园半个小时，一个礼拜三次，我看就可 OK 了。这个也是属于运动啊，所以运运动呢也会帮我们啊解决压力。你记得刚才我跟你讲那个脑的湖，那些死尸浮起来啊，你运动多一点，少这些东西浮起来 ，OK， 你会觉得冷静一点。Thank you. All right, Dr. Chong. I think one last question we'll take. So we're at home, um, twenty four seven. There is no way we're going to get contaminated, or we're going to be. I mean, people are just asking; they are a little concerned. So if you stay home and you don't step out, there's no way the virus gets to you. Full stop. Right. That is correct. In fact, uh, I have uh, some patients who are stuck in London, and mm. uh, they can't leave London, and uh, they've decided to shut themselves inside the house. So now it's already two, three, three, four weeks already. They they they're fine. They don't even go out. I mean, they 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 if they if they go out, it's really. I mean, they just order everything in and all that, you know. And and they don't go out at all. And uh, so I I think it's a good idea. And that's what we're trying to do with this、uh, circuit breaker. Today somebody told me lockdown versus circuit breaker. I I I I said well, lockdown is an American term. 
maybe circuit breaker is more meaningful to our local people, right? So everyone, please remember, wash your hands, social distance, all right? Mask up whenever you can, listen to instructions. I, I, I think we're going